Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the uh, vertical bars. Uh, show the vertical bars. Okay, so um, the vertical bars is what the solar panel is going to be resting on. And uh, the vertical bar is going to provide the uh, mounting place for uh, those uh, panel holders. Um, so initially, without the vertical bars, uh, I have just these uh, horizontal bars like this, uh, such as this one right here. And this is already attached. And uh, this one right here, uh, back up a little bit, show here. So this one right here, as you can see, I can still move it. So this is, uh, hasn't, hasn't been attached to the uh, uh, horizontal bar yet. And yeah, so I'm gonna install this one here to show you guys how it's done uh, step by step. Okay, so these, these are the parts that I'm gonna use. Um, for those of you that doesn't know, um, I built my entire ground mount solar rack using uni strut or super struts um, i have i'll have another video that describes um, about this uh, components that is usually used by electrician to make um, i guess structures so i'm using this kind of not for its intended purpose but it works and uh, and this is probably one of the cheapest way that you can build the uh, solar panel so anyway this is uh this is a I think they call it a 3 8 um, um, nut to to mount these uh, super struts or uni strut and the way that uh, this goes in and I'm just gonna put it into position like that so I can see the hole and the next thing I'm gonna do is measure from that vertical uh, stud to this one is 30 inches from center to center so I'm gonna take my tape measure hold on oh here it is all right so I'm gonna take my tape measure I'm going to measure from the center to the center here about 30 inches so I'm a little bit short here I'm gonna move this a little bit here 30 inches should be right about there yep okay so I'm gonna just put some marking okay and then I'm going to move the nut at the bottom so that it will be in the middle of the marking all right so next we're going to count 11 holes from the bottom here. And this is just how I have my other um, vertical studs um, installed. If you look all over there, you'll see that uh, at the bottom, you'll see that all the vertical studs have about, probably about four or five inches sticking out at the bottom before it reached the grass. So same thing here, I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna count 11, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is the eleventh one. I'm gonna mark it again. Wait, let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is the one that I'm going to have to screw in. So let's just push it up. Okay, through there. And we're going to take the bolt and a washer. Um, I'll have a separate video that I will explain about all the different components that I use, all the different screws, parts, etc. that I use for this project. And uh, I'll also put in the description where you can buy these. Okay, so basically, I'm holding it with my hand so that there will be no pressure for now 
and I'm just screwing it with my hand first all the way down until it's kind of tight and there it is I'm gonna tighten up a little bit but not too much because I still want this to be able to be moved um, because we're still not sure about the others so we still have to do one and two two more um, connections or tightening up with bolts also there and there and uh, so after I got this tightened let's double check again to make sure that it is 30 inches exactly from center to center yep that looks about right 30 inches center to center okay and then we're going to move to the second one okay so we are at the middle point and uh, we are going to do the same measurement center to center 30 inches uh, basically we're repeating yeah, uh, pretty much the same process okay center to center 30 inches and let me get my marker there right about there a little bit more right about there a little bit more to the left there 30 inches okay once again we do the same process we mark we put the nut at the bottom let me show you how to do this so you just put it in and you twist uh, this is spring there's a spring at the bottom of it and it's kind of tricky because you don't want the spring to actually go into those holes and get stuck so you kind of have to use your finger to kind of guide it okay so all right so i got this one in and you can see from the top how this is not exactly aligned that's okay because i can still move this you see that i can move it in my hand and adjust it a little bit and this thing flex a little bit um, which is good it's not 100 percent rigid so i will just drop the bolt here and then kind of nudge it with my hand make sure that they're aligned and then screw it in okay and that's it so we tighten it a little bit but not too much because we still have one more to do up there all right so i'm not gonna show you on video the third one because it's pretty much the same process except that i'm gonna be on a ladder um and yeah so that's it this is basically a a, a part of a video for my solar panel series and um, I, I chop it up into components so if you want to see the whole entire series what you can do is just subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll be making um, all these videos and eventually all the videos in series will make up the entire process where you can do your own solar panel like I did using Unistrut and uh, this is the cheapest way to go um, in my opinion thank you for watching and please uh, hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you